everybody check it out it is january 8th 2025 and this is the first time i'm trying to observe during 2025 and i sort of did want to try to image mars tonight but it is as you can see under 20 degrees i'd have to be outside doing everything more or less manually with my avx and my edge hd8 and your best telescope is the one that you use the most and we are going to try to um, pivot and we are going to try to image orion with the sea star this is another thing that i've wanted to uh try to check out here especially with the framing mode so here the sea star is powered up and we are uh okay we are going to go and try to go to m42 and see what happens so we just powered the sea star up and we put it on the uh the patio table that we have in the backyard and this is where I've taken uh, quite a few of my sea star images over the last six months or so. And because of the location of Orion in my backyard and the trees and everything, I am not really sure that um, we're going to be able to take a really long exposure. That's why I haven't tried the Horsehead Nebula. That's why I'm going with M42 here. So let's see if we can do some plate solving. It looks like it's uh, pretty darn close. I think we're going to be right there. There you go. It is right in the screen. That is awesome. Let's see if it uh, moves the um, Great Orion Nebula down a little bit. Object is centered. Ooh, object is centered. Uh, oh, there you go. Object is centered. Awesome. Let it go through this uh, calibration here. Yeah, I haven't used the Sea Star very much since the most recent update because it's simply been too cloudy or too cold here Finding object. so i do believe that when the calibration is in progress tracking stops so that's i think why the sea star has to go and recenter the object all right there it is object is centered preparing for image enhancing uh, we are going to cancel that and we're going to go to autofocus. Autofocusing. I heard people were having a problem with the autofocus here after the update, so this would be a good test to that. And frankly, it does seem like it's taking longer than normal. Autofocus completed. All right. That looks uh, pretty good. So we went to the star map here. I'm not really sure what it's loading here. This looks kind of new, but oh, okay. So we are going to do framing. And we are going to cover the entire M42 here. And we don't have to rotate. So, uh, okay. And then at this point, you just do a go-to. Object. object is centered. Preparing for image enhancing. All right, that is awesome. So uh, we are going to go ahead and see how far we get on the mosaic tonight before... Uh, M42 moves into uh, the tree in my backyard. Uh, still, uh, you can see that the field of view of the framing mode versus the normal mode was quite uh, quite a bit uh, expanded two times on the width and the height. So in any event, that is it for my quick go-to here of M42, the first imaging session with the Sea Star in 2025. I will leave you with the enhanced uh, images as the mosaic propagates, um, and we'll see how far we can get. Clear skies, everybody.